hello guys welcome to our channel mocha part so today i am going to show you how you can create a socks mocha from a base image um, if you want you can get this mockup from the below given link in the description so without further ado let's get started so first i am going to use the paint tool to create toe and heel section for our socks or first we can cut it out the whole socks from the base image so just click here and there you can use double or press zero double tap on zero on your number pad so it will be reduce the opacity of this paint tool so you can clearly see it okay now click on the other points and use press the control key then drag it along with the mouse button you can also use the arrow key to make it upwards or downwards or move those points any any direction you want also you can use this anchor point tool from the pen tool selection add anchor point tool or you can just use the pen tool and press the control key to move them around whenever you feel the points are lost use control and create a rectangle along where you assume the points are so you can get back those points again just click on those points and align those lines with those curves as close as possible sometimes you need to press the alt key to get that anchor point so you can only move one particular area or sometimes you may need to remove some certain points to get a nice curvature just 
click them and move them up with up or down arrow key okay the most of our selection is ready we don't need it right now so we can just turn it off next for the toe portion we are going to use it as a separate object just assume it and make a rough selection use double zero or press twice the zero button two times so you can reduce the opacity make it a little bit of curve it's totally up to your test whichever is you think it's fine for it So you don't have to change it accordingly. Next for the toe portion, sorry for the heel portion. Go all along, make it zero. make it little bit of curve ok now put them on in a folder name it the object id this one will be our heel This is the toe and this is the base. Now start the base object, right click on it and use make selection, reduce the feather to zero, press ok. Use Ctrl J, make a copy from the background, turn it off, turn on the heel portion using Ctrl and create a solid color layer. use control and click on the toe portion again create a solid color layer okay name them this one will be our toe color and this one will be our heel color now turn them off Use the rectangle tool, create a rectangle, right click on it, 
convert into a smart object this will be our main area where we can edit or place our design okay so reduce is opacity so you can see the actual image from the background then use control T to transform it then right click and wrap it click it make the curve little bit of Just try to follow along with those curves. Okay, I need a split here so I can use this horizontal split. can also use control alt and click it and then again click it so I sorry alt and click it alt and click it okay by the way I am using the latest version of Photoshop, Photoshop CC 2022 so you may not able to use this particular wrapping point option if you use the older version than Photoshop 2021 latest update okay just apply it Okay, now make it 200%. Control and click on the background layer which we cut out, not background layer, actually socks image which we make duplicate from the background layer and mask it out. Okay, now turn on those two color layer we just have to edit it a little bit what we are going to do we are going to remove those extra areas so how we are going to do we are going to use the brush tool make it a bigger use the hard round brush just need to invert the selection so either you can use the select from the inverse selection or you can use the shortcut control alt and I now remove the area for better view you can also press the alt key and click on the mask so you can only see the mask area and remove it that's it again click on, press the alt and click on the mask area press ctrl d to remove the selection okay. make it 100% all are red so we can we can't see it clearly which is make this layer 1 to get it upward font make one more copy 
name it shadow and other one to light change the shadow layer to either you can use multiply or you can use linear burn so what is what is basically different between multiplier and linear burn linear burn make this color little bit of darker and multiply just multiply this color with this background color so i go for multiply is up to your taste whichever you prefer to use now for the light layer change it to screen and you can see the color from the background so we have to apply the levels or you can use the curve adjustment layer it is whichever you are preferable to use fit for your need i am going to use the level so you can use either level from the image adjustment and levels or you can use from here the level slider from my perspective this uh, level layer is more preferable than the using the level from image adjustment or image adjustment levels so why i'm saying this because if you are using the levels from this menu image adjustment then level it's just a small example just change it too much just a little bit of whiteness okay as you can see this light layer is also changed see it's completely gone black why is why it's happening because from this image adjustments and level using Um, it's changing this layer on completely destructive way so whenever you are trying to use anything uh, photoshop or any kind of software um, creative designing software try to go for non destructive way you can get back to this back portion whenever you you are feel to uh, get it back so just use control z and use this option click it open up the properties windows use the vector mask vector clipping mask sorry and just change it now we are getting the same result but if we just turn it off we can get this light layer back again so we can apply levels again or different parameter or you can adjust the slider to get the levels according to our taste okay now get back to mock up creation so our levels is ready this will be our fx layer to hill color ready and it is this object let's see if i have any patterns here let's use this floral pattern press control s
मौका पीस रेडी वी कैन चेंज द टू कलर दिल कलर ऑल्सो दिस डिजाइन वी कैन एड सिंगल कलर इफ वी वॉन्ट Also, I want to change the background color. Not, not just let it. I don't want this white color. So I want to add some different color. So create a solid color layer. Bring it down. Change its mode to. Let's make liner burn. so with color we can also get this shadow hope you enjoyed the videos and it find you may find it helpful so hit that subscribe button and like that video share with others if you want this mock up you can get it from the description that's it thank you